Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be honing out the block for the Forester. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning guys. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the post notification bell. Stay up to date with this rebuild. With that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty boys, so in this episode we're going to be honing out the block again. I did pick up another hone tool with the actual stones. It's meat and grit stone instead of the ball one. It's older and I don't know what grit that is. So hopefully we can hone it out a little bit and get rid of the, the vertical scraping from the pistons. Um, I mentioned it to my dad today and goes, well, shows that it's overheated at some point. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get this all back into spec. i um, be doing a lot of measuring. So I might have to get some more tools um, to measure everything properly and some batteries for my Vernius as well. Place is a mess in here so I need to clean up. I'm going to take some rubbish out tomorrow as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully by the time we come back it'll be a lot cleaner and we'll have more parts. There are some parts waiting for me at work to pick up tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, clean up a bit. All right, cleaned up a little bit. Doesn't look like it, but the boot of the skyline is a full. So I'll empty that tomorrow and pack up some more in these bags. So they're all oily anyways. Um, I did find the other, the, the boot mounted um, water spray. So we can mount that in the boot somehow. I'll figure that out later. Not too much of a concern right now. But yeah, um, I don't have a drill at the moment. Like I said before, I'm using the air drill. So I'm not going to be using it um, tonight. A bit late now. So... Might do it quickly tomorrow when I get home and see, see if the medium grit um, stones take it down any further. And like I said, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the, the parts that I got. Should be the crank and seals and stuff like that. But I still can't put the two halves together because I haven't got the oil seals. So I might go ahead and Order them tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, tomorrow. Alright guys, I'm back. It's Wednesday and it's after work. And some parts came in. So let's go through it. So we've got, in this box is the crank and a few of the seals. Got some ultra black. Got some grey. Got a Deutsch crimping tool. Hmm, wonder what I need that for. Assembly loop. Got some valve grinding compound and I got the valve lappers tools. So I'll just give them a bit of a little lapping. This came in. This is for the GT35 to the back of the um, TD05. Um, so decided that would probably be better. It's not going to have welds that are leaking. So decided to go that route. And it's pretty, pretty damn tight. So um, that comes with a, oh, that box. That's got the, the other side that I'll weld onto and the clamp. So I need to figure out um, the configuration of where I'm gonna put it. 
I do want to have the GT35 a little bit further forward. Um, not that far forward, but it's like in this location. But we'll get there. Um, it's early enough to do some honing. So might start the compressor up and do some honing until we get rid of the vertical verticals there. The scraping. I really should get a micrometer set and actually measure the bore and measure everything um, like an engine builder would so I can see the tolerances and get everything correct because um, I don't want to hone this out and then realize that you know it's not a good block and put it all back together and you know, I've screwed a new crank and everything so We'll, uh, we'll send this stone home down a few times and see how we go. Alright, I've just been honing this one out. Um, so we've got scrapes on both sides. You see where it is too. Normally where the STI bracing would be. Just use a vernius. Alright. I went around and I don't think these are round anymore. Hmm. I need to get some micrometers to make sure that's correct, but I don't think I'm going to do anything further to this block just yet. Alright, guys, so the battery is dead in this, so I'm going to go get one and I'll show you the difference. I think it's actually pretty big. I think we've got oval. I think it's come in. That's why we're scraping. So, yeah. I'll see what battery it is. I did take a photo, but not 100% sure. So, I'll get it out again. And uh, I'll go get another battery or two. Alright guys, got some batteries for it. But, it's dinner time. So I'll come out later and I'll measure it and I'll show you I believe they have gone to an oval oh, that way alrighty boys put the batteries in so it's on mils millimeters uh, to two decimal places so um, yeah let's loosen that up a bit I know it's just the top and we should be measuring it further down. But let's have a look. It's alright. I don't know if you can see it. 91.83 9, 6 and 8 mm. So pushing it out as far as I can 91.83 Pushing it out as far as I can One point nine. I thought this was a ninety two. Oh, 
You don't need to get it actually honed out, bored out. 91.9. We can't see it at the moment. <clears throat> so across, so we're at 91.84. See what we can get to. 91.92. Hmm. The bore sizes aren't smaller, are they? On a NA to a turbo. Oh, 92. You just have to get the micrometers in there and actually measure further down in the bore. Um, to actually see what's going on. What are your thoughts, guys? Um, really come to a standstill now at the moment, so until I can get them and measure it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to. Looks like we might have to bore it out. Um, I'll measure my piston. It's out the skirt, so the top here, the bottom, should I say? We're at 91.84. Go to the top. Ninety. I did calibrate these. Yep, they calibrated. It's very odd. Hmm. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Should I just keep honing them out until I've got the scratches out? Because it seems like it's pretty small. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next episode. Bye.